Hello, students. Um, today' lesson is about ionic equations. But before I um, teach you this part, I just want for those that maybe they need a revision about the how to write uh, and balance the equation. Just tell you this that when chemicals react together, atoms cannot be either created or destroyed, so there must be an equal number of each type of the atom on the reactant side of the chemical equation as there are on the other product side. The symbol equation is a shorthand way of describing a chemical reaction. It shows the number and type of the atoms in the reactants and the number of the type of the atoms in the products. For example, so, uh, for example, we have here an equation one to write the formula of the equations, including all the reactants and the products for the hydrogen and oxygen that it gives water. So, first of all, uh, we write the equation, which is H2 plus O2, it gives H2. Remember, hydrogen and oxygen cannot be written in a monatomic, monatomic form. I mean, it is, it is, this is wrong. I have seen many times that you, all of you, you are... Most of you, most of the students are writing like this. So this is wrong. Please don't do this. Okay. So uh, the correct way is H2. It is the. It is a. It's not monatomic. It's diatomic molecule. Two atoms of the hydrogen bond together, and always and two atoms of the oxygen together. So it is H2 and O2. At the next step, you have to count the number of the atoms of each reactants and products. In order to do that, we have to write down how many hydrogen and oxygen are in this side of the equation and how many hydrogen and oxygen we have on the other side of the equation. So number of the oxygen, uh, hydrogen atom at the left side is two and oxygen is two and number of the hydrogen is two atoms and one atom of oxygen. As you can see, the equation is not balanced because at the both side of the equation, the number of the atoms should be equal. So hydrogen is correct, the number of the hydrogen is balanced, but for the oxygen is not. So in order to fix this problem, we have to balance one of the atoms by placing a number in front of the reactants or products. In this case, the oxygen atoms on the right hand side need to be balanced so that they are equal in number to, the, to those on the left hand side. You should always remember that the number in front multiplies everything in the formula. For example, if we have two, if we put two here, so we will have two oxygen and two times two becomes four hydrogen atoms. So by putting a, a coefficient two in front of H2O, I have now two number atoms of oxygen and now two times two becomes four atoms of hydrogen. In a step four, we should keep balancing in this way one type of atom at a time until all the atoms are balanced. For example, now we have two hydrogen. If I multiply this hydrogen number of the atoms by two, I will have equal number of the hydrogen at the both sides. So I put one coefficient two in front of H2. So it becomes two times two becomes four atoms. Now this equation is balanced. Note that when you balance an equation, you must not change the formula of any of the reactants or the products. I mean, H2 should remain H2, O2 should remain O2, and H2O should remain H2. It cannot be HO or H3O or something. This is wrong. You cannot change the formula of the uh, any of the reactants or the products, okay? So what you are changing, you just put a coefficient, a number in front of the each of these products or reactants to balance them out. Now I'm talking about the ionic equations and compounds. Uh, when ionic compounds like, for example, here, like the salt or sodium chloride or NaCl, uh, dissolves in water, uh, the ions are separated from each other into the water. So it means that we have, this is the equation NaCl or sodium chloride plus the water, which is H2O. It will give, water is a liquid in a liquid form, and NaCl is a, is a solid here. When you put it inside the water, it changes into ions. Sodium positive in aqueous form, 
plus Cl minus AQ. Ionic compounds include salt, such as sodium bromide, magnesium sulfate, ammonium nitrate, acid and alkalis also have ions. Examples like uh, hydrochloric acid that has H positive ion and Cl minus ion. Or in sodium hydroxide like NaOH, we have two ions, Na positive and OH minus ions. Only a few of the ions present in the solution take part in these reactions, not all of them. The ions that are involved in no part in the reaction are called spectator ions. So spectator ions are those ions that actually are in the solution, but they do not take part into the reaction. When you want to write the equation for the ionic equation, I mean, if you compare with the chemical equation, it is much more simpler. It shows only the ions or other particles that are reacting. Spectator ions are omitted, and when we compare the full equation for the reaction of zinc, for example, with the aqueous copper 2 sulfate, with the ionic equation, this approach can be observed. So I'll just work out the uh, reaction of the zinc with the aqueous copper 2 sulfate and, and write the ionic equation for it to show how I am deducing the ionic equation. Equation and, and removing, and first finding the spectator ions and then removing them from the equation. So I want to work out the total ionic equation without the spectator ions. So the first thing that you have to do, you have to first write the equation, I mean, write the, uh, the, each of these chemical com uh, compound uh, formula, and after that, you have to dedu deduce the, and predict actually the products that all form the, for example, here we have, right here, Zn, which is zinc. And the state of the matter as zero is important. Zinc metal, so it is in a solid state or solid phase, plus copper, Cu, and sulfate is SO4, uh, so if I, I, I'm not sure if this formula is correct. I want to de deduce the formula of this one, this chemical. So what I have to do first, I should find each of these uh, uh, material that we have here and the formula of it. So uh, copper is Cu, is the symbol is Cu, as this ion is C2+. Plus, and SO4 is SO4 sulfate 2 minus. Then I uh, just, if I uh, just give the number here to write it here, lower down the CU, and this one should be written here. So because both of them are two, I better I just make it simple as CU SO4. So this is the chemical of this, this chemical. In order to find out the state or the phase of this chemical, you should know about the uh, solubility rule and if you're familiar with it all the sulfates are soluble there are exceptions of it that uh, the sulfates of the barium which is ba2 plus calcium 2 plus and b and uh, pb which is the lead 2 plus and strontium which is sr2 plus these are insoluble the, their sulfates are insoluble so all the other sulfates are soluble. So this one should be AQ, which is soluble. The next step is you have to find out the products. So this is a single displacement reaction. Zn takes the SO4, so it becomes Zn, SO4, because both of them, they have, uh, there are the, actually the Zn ion is 2 plus, positive 2, and SO4, uh, to minus, so um, the, uh, the actually the formula will be Zn SO4, then plus what is left here is Cu, which is copper and is a metal in solid form, and this is aqueous again. So this is the total chemical equation. Total.
chemical equation. The next thing you have to look and see if it is balanced or not. If it is not balanced, you have to balance it. But here, I think the equation is already balanced, so you do not need to do anything more. The next step is you have to write the complete chemical equation with charges of each of the ions. When you want to write down the, uh, the, uh, the ions, you have to be careful. The one in the solid phase, in the liquid phase, in the gas phase, this would not be separated into ions only. The one in an aqueous phase, they will be actually separated into the ions. So when you want to write the complete chemical equation with the charge, it becomes Zn remains the same because it's a solid. Then this one, which has, because it's in the in aqueous phase, so it becomes Cu2 plus. SO plus SO4, 2 plus, it will give, this one also is an AQ, this is AQ, it will give ZN, 2 plus, plus SO4, 2 plus, plus CU, which is a solid, we do not touch this one. So, this is the complete Again, chemical, chemical equation, but with ions, with ions and the charges. At the next step, you have to find the spectator ions and cancel them, and you have to remove them or eliminate them from the equation. What are the spectator ions? The spectator ions are those actually um, actually substances that are the charges, everything are the same in the both side, in the left and the right side, in the product and the reactant side. Z and S, but the here is Z and 2 plus, so the charge is different. So I don't touch this one because this is not an spectator ion. The other one, let, let's let have a look at this one, Cu2 plus, the charge is 2 plus. This one is CuS, is a solid form aqueous, so they are different, so it should remain. SO4 2 plus and SO4 2 plus, they are the same. I remove them. So if now, at the next step, you have to rewrite the equation. Rewrite the equation without the spectator ions. Remove them, eliminate them from the equation. Now here, this is the final equation, which is the complete ionic equation. Complete ionic equation. But without a spectator ions. So, so the sulfate ions are not present here as they are only the spectators as have not changed during the reaction. So this is another example. You have to write ionic equation for this reaction, which is aqueous chlorine with aqueous potassium bromide. First, predict the, for the products and write the, each of the substance formula and write the full chemical equation. So how should I write it? So I know that this is a chlorine, so it's Cl is diatomic, so I have to write Cl2. The next one, and the state is aqueous, is already mentioned. And I know the chlorine is gas, but this one is aqueous, so I write KAQ. The other one is potassium bromide. Potassium bromide. So I first, uh, uh, before that, so um, this is also aqueous because our halides also are um, soluble. Yeah, all the halides are soluble except. The halides of Hg2 positive, Ag positive, and Pb2 positive. These are the exceptions. They are insoluble. The halides of these ones are insoluble. The rest of the halides are soluble. So based on this description, the KBr potassium bromide should be soluble in aqueous phase. Um, now I have to find out the product. So this one becomes KCl, potassium chloride, a simple displacement reaction, plus Br2O bromine. But this is aqueous. 
not the gas, because this one is A plus 2. So a KCL also, as I said, is an AQ because halides have a light side of the, all the metals except HG, AG, and PB are all soluble. So this one is also soluble. The next part, you have to balance this. So in order to balance, I need to put one two here and one, uh, one two here. So now it's balanced, I think. Yep. The next step, you have to write the full ionic equation. So this one, this one is A plus. This is A plus. Okay, this one is an aqueous state, but it's not an ionic compound. Uh, so what I do, I just write for the ionic compound, they should be separated into the ions. So I just write Cl2, Aq, plus, okay, this is very important. So we have two atoms of potassium and two atoms of bromine. So it becomes 2K positive we have, which is Aq, plus... 2Br minus we have, which is AQ again. So it gives, again, 2 times 1 becomes 2K positive aqueous plus 2Cl minus aqueous plus Br2 aqueous. So this is the full ionic equation. At the next step, we omit the spectator ions. The spectator ions here are, these two are the same, 2K positive and 2K positive. The rest are different. So I rewrite the equation, this time by omitting the spectator ions. So this is the total ionic equation without the spectator ions. The next one is the, the next example is the lead 2 nitrate in aqueous form plus a, um, aqu uh, aqueous potassium chloride that we have to write this ionic equation. And um, for the, first, you have to predict the products of this reaction is a double uh, displacement reaction. So lead 2 nitrate, it means the, this is Pb2 plus. So a nitrate is NO. 3 minus. So how should I write the formula? It becomes Pb NO3 2 and it is aqueous. I put Aq plus potassium chloride. Potassium is K positive chloride is Cl minus. So how, what is the formula? Is KCl so plus KCl. Now you have to predict the formula. Uh, predictive product, sorry. So the product of this will be uh, Pb will take the Cl, so it becomes Pb Cl2 plus and K take the nitrate, so it becomes potassium nitrate. The next thing have to balance, is it balance? Uh, so it becomes, it's take two and it become two, and this is one and one, so now it is balanced. And uh, the next part is that what you are supposed to do is that you should write the uh, symbol of the state. So this one is aqueous, all the halides except those uh, three elements that I told you are uh, aqueous, so it is aq. And all halides except uh, PB, if you remember, I say all halide except PB, HG, and AG are all soluble. So this one is a solid, is it is actually precipitates into the uh, solution. And nitrates all are soluble, so it is AQ. And um, so we have pre this one is a precipitation reaction. So this is the full chemical equation. The next step is that you should um, know that um, you have to find out the spectator ions. The spectator ions here, you can uh, first have to write the full ionic equation. To write the full ionic equation, you have to separate them into the ions. This is an ionic compound, so we just write Pb, Pb2 plus, plus, Two because there are two NO3, so there are two NO3 
two n o three minus plus two k positive plus two c l minus it gives a this one is solid i just write it as it is i don't change it i don't separate it to the ion yes c l two and plus so this one is equal so it should be separated into two k positive plus two n o three minus then write the uh, symbol of a state this is aqueous aq 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 this is s this is aq this is aq the next step you have to omit or eliminate the spectator ions so find those ions that are the same on the both side and the product and the reactant so 2 and o3 minus here and we have 2 and o3 minus at the other side so i just eliminate it so the 2k plus and the 2 k plus so what is left you just rewrite and becomes the full ionic equation without the spectator ion so it becomes pb2 plus pb2 plus plus 2cl minus 2cl minus it gives pbcl2 then don't forget the state of the matter which is s here which is aq and g is aq I'll give another example to you. This is an example of the acid and base reaction. When the acid is strong and the base is strong, this is also a double replacement, splicing reaction, and also a neutralization reaction. So here we have aqueous sulfuric acid, AQ, um, plus um, the aqueous sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide aq the first thing you have to write and find out each of these compounds formula and the sulfuric acid is h2 you have to memorize this one h2 so4 i think all of you are familiar with so the state is aqueous plus Sodium hydroxide, sodium is Na positive hydroxide is OH minus, so the formula will be NaOH. So how should I write? NaOH. The next step is this. You have to predict the product. So we have H2. I'll rewrite again. H2SO4 in a quest form plus sodium hydroxide and NaOH. Now predict the product, which becomes sodium sulfate. NaSO4 sodium sulfate because SO4 if you remember the ion is 2 minus and A is positive so if you change just swap the numbers you will have this formula for the sodium sulfate the next one which is produced the next pro the product is the H2O the next step for us so H2O is a liquid form so water is in liquid always so and this one all the sulfates are aqueous and hydroxide and NaOH is aqueous too so on the hydroxide of the sodium lithium potassium ammonium and calcium barium and strontium are soluble the rest of the hydroxide are insoluble so i should write NaOH sodium hydroxide Aq. The next step, as you know, you have to make sure the equation is balanced. If, it's, um, if you are, the equation is not balanced, so you have to balance it first. So this one, I have to put one, two in front, and for H2O, another two. So now this equation is balanced. The next part is that you have to find, uh, separate this into their ion. So total ionic equation becomes two because we have two atoms of hydrogen that have a positive charge plus one we have only one i will write the one but just say i wanted to show you so it becomes so 4 2 minus plus we have two sodium ions plus two oh or hydroxide ion and at the other side we have two sodium ion plus one sulfate ion and plus two h2o two water molecule
in your liquid form and they're all AQ, 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 AQ. So now the, the next step is you have to omit, eliminate the spectator ions. This one is spectator ion, this one is a spectator ion, and this one too, and this one too. So you rewrite the formula, the, the equation, without these ions, 2H positive plus 2OH minus becomes 2, it gives 2 H2O. So you mean if you have one strong acid and one is another strong base, a strong base, always the this reaction gives this water molecule. This is the total ionic equation without the spectator ions. So, so I would like at the end, before giving you some um, exercises to do, um, talk about the solubility rule once again. Solubility rules. So always, the, the, the ions that are always, the salts that are always soluble, always soluble are sodium, potassium, lithium, ammonium, and also nitrate, and also acetates. So these are always soluble, like the um, group alkali metal ions or soluble. Another one, halides, like Cl minus, Bl minus, and I minus, of all the elements are soluble for all elements except these ones, which is silver, lead, and mercury. So silver, lead, and mercury halides are insoluble. These are insoluble. Like Ag, Cl like PbCl2, or like, sorry, like PbBr2. These are insoluble. All the sulfates, SO42 minus, all of them sulfates are soluble, except Calcium, two positive. Lead, two positive. Barium, two positive. Strontium, two positive. All the hydroxides, all OH minus salts, hydroxides, are insoluble. The exceptions that are soluble are sodium, lithium, or group number one, huh? potassium, sodium, uh, ammonium, calcium, barium, strontium. They are insoluble. Sorry, soluble. Soluble. And the next one, or last one, all carbonates, all carbonates, which is formula is CO3, 2 minus, and also all sulfate, all sulfide, all phosphates, All C chromates, CrO4 2 minus, they are all insoluble, but there are still exceptions that are 
soluble for sodium, lithium, and potassium. I hope this will help you to answer the questions well. Thank you.